Hi, uh, it's Ballroom Backstage live <laughs> morning uh, here from our headquarters in Los Angeles. It's pretty cool. Finally, it's sunny. Finally, it's warm. That's yeah, beautiful. Uh, Good morning. Yes. Uh, I'm here not by myself, so I'm here today with our guest star. Hold on, I prepared something for you, and you have to check the spell. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You have to check everything. So, Nathan Grandi, our guest star <laughs> today, guys. Uh, thank you for joining me. Thank I you for having me. Thank wonderful. you for having I know, me. I know how difficult it is wake up for most of the people, especially me. I, I, I didn't sleep tonight well, so... You didn't either? No. Neither uh, did we. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know, guys, you're partying well. Uh, All the time. No, I'm <laughs> so, but how can you actually? How can you party, and then go to work, right? Like early in the morning, do hairs and everything. Or when you do hairs on a competition and makeup, you you do not party. No, so not really, because we're up really early. But if we, there is a night that we can go out, it's normally the final evenings of the competitions. Okay. Um, it's great because you're out with the people, you're out with all the competitors, all the people that make life happen for the competition. So it's it's great. We're always out. It's lovely to be out with the people. We know everyone. So <laughs> it's, it's great. All right, so anyway, good morning, the, good morning, Los Angeles. Uh, good afternoon, New York. Yes, and all the hey, East York. Coast. Yes, uh, good evening. I would say good evening, Europe, and 12.30 a.m. Hong Kong. Kong. <laughs> yes, it's pretty cool. Everybody's getting ready to millennium, uh, for Millennium. I'm looking forward myself. It's, uh, Same one of, here. It's one of my favorite competitions uh, since I came to this country. Um, what my memorable one is when Michael Chapman has uh, palm trees inside, if you remember. It was a palm trees. It was oh, like in the wicked beautiful. colors, like red and yellow. It was like a, a tropical. Just bright. Yeah. And uh, by the way, last year with everybody who I talked to, they would love to keep Millennium wild. So when I asked somebody, what do you think the next year theme for Millennium should be? Everybody was saying like, let's keep it wild, like a tropical or, you know, like a zombie or something. Oh, could you, know? you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, okay. Your mornings, how, how, how do you wake up nice and sweet? Well, you know what? I think a big thing that a lot of people do, well, for myself, um, literally waking up, putting on my favorite color, something bright, something fresh that makes me that makes my eyes pop open, you know, just makes you feel good, gets the day going, things like that. Like, I love, uh, like, yeah, but how do you do that? Look, I woke up today, I followed your advice from the Emerald Dance Sport Championships. I woke up, I went into a hot shower, I, st I stood right in front of it, right in front <laughs> of it, like this. It did help a little bit, but yeah. what, what helped the most, you can see on my Instagram, it's coffee. <laughs> it literally like a, it's a, big uh, one. like coffee, a double tea, shot. Double shot, get your sugar going, you know, yeah. have a nice breakfast. Things like that. Are you big on coffee? Apple. I have coffee pretty much every day. Yeah, nice French press, nice coffee, one one of the day. When you yeah. work on the competition, how many cups of coffee? Or how many cups of coffee do you have? Throughout Probably the three throughout the three morning. Three a day. So the morning. Three in the morning. Yeah. Are they strong? Just regular, regular coffee, just to get it going. A regular you know, coffee. Wake okay. you up. There's a regular coffee. You and know. a couple of donuts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I wish. Uh, guys, today we have a great show for you. We have, we talk. We are talking about Millennium Dance Sport Championships, and we have some very exclusive news because I was. Ooh, exciting! Uh, I know. I was with Michael Chapman on the <laughs> phone a couple of days back, and I was like, he gave me a nice info, and I'm like, Michael, okay, this is not <laughs> enough. You have to give me something more. So he gave me some cool, some cool insights, and one of them. Can you read this? Can you read this? Oh, wait, which was it? Uh, hold on. It's the last chapter. It's the last chapter. It's a very first topic. What the? What a. I ask him, Michael, what the New Orleans is famous for? Can you read oh this? Oh my goodness. Okay, so. And this was official email. I was like. Super excited for okay. myself. I've not been to New Orleans yet, but I know a lot about it. So the graveyards, that's a really big one that people love. The graveyards, come on. People oh. like. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I have tons of pictures when I'm in Hawaii at the, at the graveyard. Literally, <laughs> seriously. And Swampland. Like, and then we've got can the Swamplands, the read French this? Quarter. We've got the history. All, also, yeah. the jazz. So you've got the jazz bars, the clubs, things like that. Going out, mixing with all the locals. <laughs> And feeling the vibes, that's what we're so looking forward to. I'm sure you are as well. I love the contrast between the graveyards and the French Quarter. You know, you're going <laughs> from a morning stroll at the graveyard, then then you, you're gently going into swamp land, <laughs> and then you're going into just show. That's it. <laughs> yeah, true. But so that was yeah. my... My really looking news. forward to that. Yeah, to the swamp Especially land. running around in our superhero outfits in the graveyard. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yes, by the way. <laughs> uh, Michael wanted to keep it wild. We're keeping it wild. Like so always, definitely it's, it's, uh, it's not going to be stuck up. So that, that's going to be fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, before we're going to go into any news about um, Millennium, we have very, very, very 
no problem. Destroying the set? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> We're having a very, very, uh, I think, awesome news. We have not one, but two couples got engaged. So congratulations. One is, one, yes, congratulations, My first of all. One is from Smooth. It's Tatiana Silverstava and Leonid Gurlov, a good friend of mine. We're from the same city. Congratulations, guys. Beautiful. Uh, so I, I call her. I, I was with Tatiana today uh, at the morning on the phone, and I go, and I ask her, like, give me some details, give me something, and, yeah. and she's like, sure. I'm like, did you did you know that he will propose? And she's like, you have any idea? Had no clue. Had absolutely no idea. So I think this is wonderful. We can see this as the exclusive picture with oh, the blurred ring. Oh, beautiful. However, it's not a real ring yet. Uh, okay, it's a real ring, but not what she will wear because the ring was so expensive to carry it with I'm you. I'm sure. He couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So that's like a like a spare ring. Okay. There's thought that went behind that. <laughs> so. She said it That's was beautiful. a it was a quest. So she had she had to go on a quest to find out what's going to happen. So he was with her. How exciting! And he traveled to Italy a week ahead, or two weeks ahead. Ahead of her. Yeah, ahead of her to plan Amazing. everything out. But however, she told me he had a plan B. If and if they would win uh, Blackpool Dance Sports Championships, no Blackpool Dance Festival. Yes. I'm I'm so sorry, Blackpool Dance Festival. He would propose there. But he had a plan B, and the plan B wasn't too shabby, so to go to Italy, to Venice, and uh, oh, make a quest. Beautiful place. And Venice. to propose, yeah, so they're, 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 oh, they're, they're what a great shot. That's a happy couple, yes. That's awesome. Happy couple is arriving on Sunday, and I hopefully, on Monday or Tuesday, we're going to have a live interview with them. Uh, oh. Talk about plans uh, for the future, wedding, obviously, and when it's going, when it's going to happen, and how. Oh, I'm excited. I want to ask her Me about too. a dress. Yes. <laughs> yes so that's, actually, I didn't ask. Did you put out the dress already? Or Probably not? not yet. So, okay. Another engagement. It's in the rhythm division. Vart, Mar Vart Margarian. Uh, oh, my goodness. And his future wife, Sophie Moon, uh, got engaged. That's Congratulations. A cute, that's an excerpt. It's a screenshot from the video, actually, on okay. his page. You can go into oh, so his page. Was, oh, that was live. Uh, or he did it. He it's actually, no, it wasn't live. They recorded it and they made a huge cool montage you can see it on his page there's a video it's so cute i don't think she knew oh. it either she knew it either, either. Wow. yes it was cute because she had a very uh, honest nice reaction and i was so excited because i know this guy we did a movie together and uh you know he's happy can and you i think read? i got an, yeah, yeah, yes, got an email that, that yes. he sent to you he said hello my dear friend uh thanks a lot of thinking for thinking of me she's not a dancer at all but a very talented girl she is a TV host, an administrator, and a psychologist. I met her two years ago on TV on one of my interviews, and I fell in love. One of her dreams was to become a dancer, but it didn't happen. So she got engaged with the dancer, so she will be dancing the rest of her life. That's really sweet. Ah, Vart. I think that's awesome. Guys, I'm, we are very happy for yes. you. Uh, it's a great news. Always nice to have a great, uh, always nice to have those such a oh, yeah. wonderful news happening rather than injuries so on a bright note as well uh max Sinitsa, i talked to him last week actually before blackpool he said he's doing well he's Wonderful. Uh, uh he's recovered i believe that's that's great uh, to hear. i believe that them yes that's from that's from hollywood oh, Championship. Beautiful. he is doing great uh the dance blackpool nothing so thanks god very happy for them too glad he's back yes i mean awesome. uh you know when those things are happen it's just and like, they do happen yeah did it happen to you I have had things happen to me. I've blown my back, my lower back, so you can't kick your leg even to like anywhere Ouch. because you got you know, it's got it needs its rest. So yeah, yeah um, I have. How about you? Uh, I started to have some. I I earned myself a plantar. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know what it's called correctly. Plantar fasciitis. So basically, I was running on a treadmill, uh, and oh suddenly I, I felt a huge pain in my ankle and my foot. I stopped. Pain pain went away. Went away. I. Turn it, I turned it back on, started to run again, pain. So I didn't get it first, but then Louis Barr actually. Thank you, Louis Barr. Uh, by the way, Louis and Lauren just had as their hundreds competition together. Oh, congratulations. For Louis, it was like That's 3 million awesome. and one, but for them it was hundreds together at Blackpool. Okay, well. So anyway, come back to the injury. So Louis, yeah. <laughs> Louis Barr uh, gave me a device, a plastic sock, which you slip and it stretches your foot. Brilliant. And it helps you Brilliant to get rid invention. of it. Oh yeah. That's great. How's it now? 
It's better. It's much awesome. better. I feel it That's sometimes. Great. I KT tape it if I do yeah. if I do competitions with uh, my students. Just prevent, and, uh, yeah, yeah, of and course. So on. It's very it's very good. So anyway, uh, another news we have the ballroom hub. Uh, so Igor, Igor Litvinov opened his new studio in New York. Uh, did you know about that? Yes. Okay, good. Incredible. That's <laughs> incredible. So he opened his new studio in New York, uh, Ballroom Hub, and he decided to do a like a TED talk in ballroom dancing. It's called the Hub Talk. His studio is gorgeous. First of all, that's a shot of the studio. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at, Look at those nice lights. Nice floor. Nice. Yeah, exactly. Nice shiny floor. Uh, We've got to get down and see it. I see. It's in New York. So yeah. what's going to happen is, what's going to happen is, you can see on a Ballroom Hub uh, Facebook page, they're going to have a TED talk. They're going to do it two, three weeks. Right now, every two, three weeks. He want to do it. Actually, I think you have an. Uh, yeah, he have, um, yeah. He sent us this. He said, "I had an idea uh, already a few years ago, but I never had the time for it. Um, now that my studio, I have the studio, I can do it. I want to make a difference in uh, from make it different from regular lectures." Um, more like a real talk show um, about some aspects which have uh, gotten a while that we do dance with dance lectures. Mm -hmm. I want people to be inspired and motivated. If people get inspired or entertained after Hub Talk, they can make a donation at uh, dancing classrooms, organizations, mm -hmm. supporting kids dancing at schools, which is amazing, Yeah. Um, and something like that. So we want to make it clear that it goes to the right places through yeah. us, which is yeah. brilliant. And it's free, so every, a, a, everybody can join. I believe. Nice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nice. Let's bring it back. Uh, let's bring it back. It's on 9 p.m. Thursday, June seventh, and he and he will live broadcast it as well. So Jonathan Roberts is the first guest. Awesome. Uh, John always. Uh, Jonathan is always That's nice and very, and, and very eloquent. Yes, it's yeah. coming week. Yeah, yeah? looking coming forward week. to it. Yeah, That's so great. it should be very fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. What a great idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Looking forward to it. You know that. what? So Igor. Igor, by the way, he's a team captain for the uh, oh, for he? the Millennium, yes. And the Ooh. team has a terrifying name, the rest of the world. So uh, we're going to talk about it later. So uh, they won last year. Okay. They won last oh, year. Oh, watch so, out. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's go right now. Actually, yeah, team match. Let's go into team match, by the way. So that's uh, my new... Oh, this is great. Uh, yeah. Why do we love this? Why do we love the team match? Because it's just ridiculously it's fun. fun. It pulls people together. Yeah. It's exciting. It's so different from what you normally get all the time. Have you seen it last year? Yes. Incredible event. I am. This is actually, Look at that. this is from Hollywood. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This is from Superstars Dance Sport Championships. And uh, what people were doing, they were dressing differently. They were doing tricks, lifts. Uh, Getting inventive. Yeah, you can, you can see so Anton. <laughs> Anton was very inventive. I'm sorry, Anton. I'm kind of jealous. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Red. Red. So you can't you, go wrong uh, with yeah. red. You can't go wrong with red. Okay. What's your, <laughs> what, 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 what do you, who is your favorite su superhero? Superman. Superman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you envision yourself falling down and, and you imagine. And imagine with a big old cape on. Yeah. That would be cool. But anyway, the uh, team match has four has four teams. So we have a California we have a California team. We have an East Coast team. Yes. We have a Canadian team, and we have the rest of the world. They should terrify me. That's gonna be great. The rest of the world. Yeah, <laughs> we have the rest of the world coming for you. That's gonna be awesome. So uh, last year, Igor, team, that team, the rest of the world, won. So we have East Coast, we have West Coast. So the West Coast, Babette Brown, my wife, she's she's she's, she's re responsible for uh, for them. How is it going, by the way? Is it going good? Yeah, she's she she she's giving us a good sign. It's going well. Uh, difference between East Coasters and West Coasters. Are they big? Yeah. I'm sure. You are Native American, so yeah. you can Yeah, from you Arizona and being on the West Coast, I mean, a little bit more relaxed, more fun vibe. Like, the East Coast? It's not so, well, no, West Coast. West Coast, okay, West Coast. much more chill. So, same, yeah. So okay. that's like where, where I'm from. But East Coast, I'm just a whole different entity. I mean, it's so far across the country, so everyone has a whole different mentality. Um, but everyone still loves to have fun at the end of the day. But. I mean, there is difference, don't you there think? There is different. Okay, Canadians. So what's going to be different between Canadians? I mean, they're all, they're all super chill. I mean, there's, if, if the West Coast chill, the Canadians are super <laughs> chill. There's like, <laughs> participation! Completely <laughs> chill. <laughs> so I know that uh, Inessa Strelnikova uh, from Canada, she's, she's a team captain for Canada. So Igor Litvinov is the rest of the world. And okay. Marion Nicole, she's responsible for the East Coast. So I know that Marion Nicole, she's very competitive. I know hey. that. I know that. So the West Coast is more, our couples who are here, they're very competitive as well. 
But I think I, I've been there last year and I've been behind the scenes. I was filming a little bit, it was super fun. That's the moment when all the teams gathering together, all together. and the, this vibe of energy of different couples getting ready. Funny enough, they're really nervous. They are. Oh, of course. No, why? Of course. And some it's have fun probably part. never done it. Some people probably have never done it before. I think first yes, time for yeah, them. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Is there's a first uh, there's a couple uh, who do who, who will do it for the first time? Yes. So in California, in a West Coast team, there is the couples who will do it for the first time. So that's fun. Yeah. I think it's a one equivalent we have with Olympic Games when all the teams marching yes. together. So yes. that moment we're gonna switch it right now. The very first moment when they all the couples are lining up to walk together. I think this is it's brilliant. It's beautiful. It's this beautiful is brilliant. to see the spectacular. Just people walking together. I think that's what, it, it, like you said, the Olympics. Yeah. That whole feeling and vibe of bringing everyone together. It's just I think awesome. it's for the, for the audience is fun as well because... Of course it is. Audience go wild. On this event and the, at the Superstars, the audience was going It's probably wild. the loudest I've ever heard yeah. at a comp. That's yeah. when everyone roars. It's awesome. I love it. I mean, this is <laughs> Anton. I mean, I'm sorry, Anton. Kills me. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing that in the morning, this is great. Yeah, and uh, so every team has a certain color, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't remember. The California, what team, uh, what team do you have? We have a blue, the West Coast have a blue. Uh, East Coast and the rest of the world, I have no idea. I think the reds, we got gold. Red for, uh, so I'm getting, uh, I'm getting some notes. Uh, red, for, uh, red for the East Coast. I believe, I'm yes. not sure. Actually. What's Canada get, the Canada flag? A white. The white? A white, so I mean, they like a, they should get a fur. They should get like a fur. <laughs> Could Canada you imagine? Should, Canada should walk in a fur. Like everybody wings and Canada with a fur. <laughs> <laughs> you know? so I think what would be cool, I mean, they, uh, uh, you know, I've been this year at the Masters of Sports Championships, which Thanks. is in Niagara Falls in, in, in Canada. Beautiful place. I was amazed how you're crossing the border and everything is different. And the Niagara Falls from a Canadian side, obviously, is, I, I don't want to say nothing, but much more prettier than on on American it's, side. It's beautiful. But it was just, 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 just amazing. And I love Canadians now because they're super chill. Yeah. They're, like, <laughs> they're just super chill. They're like, woo! <laughs> okay. Huh? Uh, going next, guys. What so, do we got? What do, what do we got? What is that? Uh, what, do we, what do we got here? This is actually from a last year. This is the excerpt from, from a last year. What are your favorite moment from a last year's millennium? Oh my gosh, do it's you, just stunning. Do, the do ballroom, you from, everything from the ballroom. The first yeah, thing ballroom, you see that set. everyone's so excited the to set. see what Michael has done with the ballroom and how he pulls it all together for something different every year. The ballroom, it, that's one of my favorites. I get to help set up, which I'm so excited and honored to do this year, and to see what he's going to do with superheroes. So um, it's going to be that's the biggest thing for me, is seeing what beauty that's, they bring uh, to the ballroom. Yeah, the general shot of uh, Millennium Dance Sports Championship from last year. He told me in secret that the set is going to be slightly different. So, okay. and what that's what I like about Millennium. You never know what you're getting what you're getting yourself into. You know, yeah. certain things are the same, the competition and so on, but. Very often the set is entirely different. The lighting, I mean, the lighting is amazing at this. Oh yeah. At, at this, at this, at this, at this event, when uh, you know, for some reason it's, it it went away. So uh, the lighting on the set is just is just amazing because when when we're looking and it starts from 7 a.m. That's when on Tuesday yeah, shot really at 7 a.m. This it's buzzing. It's really it's really buzzing. So yeah. my favorite moment actually was as much as it sounds in interesting was was rehearsals. Oh really? Because I'm not I'm one of not many people who get to see that because I was filming certain parts. Correct. And it's just fantastic to see couples interact. Yeah. So I get shots and I did not want to put them on a video because couples ask me not, like, not to do this, yeah. it's all really raw, you know, yeah, like sure. But I have them from my own memory. Ooh, uh, you exciting. can see different couples like last year was Michael and Michael Molitovsky and Joanna Lewin is practicing. Yeah, that. it was beautiful. Victor Fung uh, Victor Fung was uh, were arriving and you know having his rehearsals right away okay it was just fantastic when you see those different energies Slavik and Karina were th there as well oh, yeah. three couples was very different energy oh and I know 100%. you you know we very well we were backstage helping Joanna change and stuff and just seeing the hype and all the change between the interaction so between jealous. everybody it was awesome and obviously taking that something. energy from backstage to on stage the mix of in between yeah it was pretty I know. Spectacular uh, you to be a part of yes, it. I know. You like very. You know. I will show some. I, I, I will show a clip from that. Ooh. That's a, uh, that's a clip. Yes, that's a clip from uh, rehearsals. It's actually from Hollywood and Sports Championship. But you can see the all the guys giving their oh, best. Oh, how fun! 
This I love awesome. re- I love rehearsals. I love be- I love behind the scenes. Oh, I'm That's so the looking forward why to the show this year. I bet yes. it's going to be stunning. So last year, and I know that Michael and Joanna they flew in, and they right away had to do the re- right away had to do the re- yeah, right a, re- a, a rehearsal. Then Victor Funk flew in right away. He was fl- he flew from Japan to Cal- uh, to California, then from California to the East Coast, yes, and they yeah. went right away into rehearsals. It was fantastic. I was That's like, great. Safe professionals. Professionals, yes. Okay, let's go into uh, team match. So, connecting the world. That's what I want to say. So, ballroom backstage is all about connecting the world. Uh, so you know what 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 happening at the competition at the moment when you need it. So, ballroom backstage, we are doing a behind the scenes. We're doing social media, right? Yeah, all the time. Uh, new company, Motion Capture Dance, uh, together with Michael Chapman, yeah. they are gonna bring amazing live broadcast. Fantastic! Oh, how awesome. I spoke to I spoke to them, and they said they have dozens of cameras, which are gonna be uh, on the floor and off, and they even have a drone. So they're gonna film everything, even 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 with a drone, which is like how un- cool. unbelievable part. Yes. Yeah. And Danscope org, uh, it's a it's an app. You can download it. You you can you you can download it on Android, IBM, uh, Apple devices, and you can see that it has. Competition info, it has the next one, it says all the vendors, you can see Alan Nate is there, all the vendors for Alan, oh, awesome. uh, uh, Alan Nate for Millennium, schedule, results, hit list. To really easy vendors to com- navigate. Yes. My favorite is always the hit list, so even if, even even if, if you're in your room, you can always scroll yeah. and see what... And it's see always what at your going. hands, that's awesome. Yes. What a great invention. And then it. another part they have, they have a hit. So right away when, let's say, you're dancing prime with your student, you can see not only the hit number, but you can see the people who is in that hit, the name. So you will never miss your hit ever. That's amazing. <laughs> this, is, this is a cool. This Thank is, you. This, this is a cool part. All right, let's go next. Uh, Millennium. Another part why why we love it when you look at this when we look at this uh, this, uh, this video is, for me it's uh, Matt Gala made a baby with Oscars. Oh yeah. They really had a long week of making babies and <laughs> Millennium and Millennium ca- and Millennium happened. So. Everybody making a huge effort. They dressing up, you know, and I know that my wife making the new dresses even for this. Oh, f- I'm excited for this event. And you have official email as well about the dress code. We I do. That. Yes, we yes, yes. That. We so we've got um, the day sessions. It's the business attire. Yes. And then uh, Thursday evening business attire. Mm-hmm. Uh, Friday and Saturday evenings is formal attire. Um, but it's not mandatory. But if you would like to dress up as your favorite superhero. Um, we're welcome to do so during the Friday and di- and sa- Friday and Saturday day sessions, which so that's exciting. That's for judges, by the way. The so judges, it's yeah. a secret email. That's, we, we stole that's it. pretty Sorry, cool. Uh, it's pretty cool giveaway because you know they they're trying to make something 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 very very special, and to see judges change from one to another and still be able to do their job, it's right. fantastic. So right. Uh, I, lo- I love to see the evening session when everybody's like this. It's just look at this. It's, just it's gorgeous. beautiful. It's it, beautiful. People yeah. can wear all the gowns. They're all different and something different from last year. And especially the women. You can see the women all dolled up in glamour. What's um, your, completely different. What's your favorite dress, basically? When you see somebody, what's your favorite look? Let's, uh, My let's, favorite uh, look, yeah. especially on a woman, is classic. Like classic. Bre- breakfast at Tiffany's. You got not, something figure. Shows off the woman's figure. Something like that, yeah. Okay. It doesn't matter the color, it's just how the woman feels in it. I think when the woman feels sexy, she's radiant. All right. Yeah. Uh, I love actually the any evening dress which looks gorgeous when they all walk yeah. on the floor. Look, look at that. This is just fantastic. It's beautiful. So kudos for that. Okay, judges, good job. Keep it going. <laughs> uh, okay, then the next part we're having is the. Uh, in rhythm, what's going to happen? It's very interesting for me to watch. I'm, 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 I made even a note for myself. S- there's lots of turmoil started to happen in terms of results. And I, you know, guys, I don't like to discuss a, r- a results much, but it makes it interesting to see couples work harder. Oh, yeah. So it's starting, the place is starting, starting to shift, especially at the Emerald Bowl. We, ha- we saw some results are changing. Uh, place is shifting. And that's, I'm looking forward to see the millennium because I know ev- every couple will be there. Every oh, yeah. rhythm finalist will really be there. Really looking forward to it. And they're going to grind that floor. And <laughs> I mean, yeah. Why not? You know what I mean? So it's uh, that grind is helping and uh, because in uh, USDC is coming soon. So they they all picking they all picking up the rhythm. So oh, yeah. 
Anyway, uh, okay. Uh, now we're going to the let's do, let's talk about shows. Let's talk about shows of shows. You know you you know very well uh, Mark Ballas and his oh and, very and, well and and his wife his wife BC Jean yes yes Michael is famous for creating a best show in the industry and every re every review we heard is that is just fantastic it's the best what we have. Oh yeah, and this year he managed. Can you can you mention well, because so you know that sphere much better so than got, I do. Yeah. So let's start off with this. So uh, obviously we have Mark Ballas and BC Jean, which is his wife, both songwriters. Mm -hmm. um, uh, BC wrote "If I Were a Boy" for Beyonce. So we're really looking forward to them singing one of their hits, uh, "Roses and Violets," and also he's going to be singing one of his hit songs from Jersey Boys, which he was in, Sherry. You know Sherry. Yeah. Sherry. Fantastic. I'm, I'm not good in singing, but yeah. We're looking forward to that, yes. especially. And then also we've got... Yeah, um, they actually, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, they will no, perform no both evenings. They will oh, perform perfect. both evenings. That's yes. awesome. Looking forward to that as yes. well. Okay. And then we also sorry. got Ty Hen Hendern. Mm -hmm. um, he's uh, sold 10 million albums, six number one wow. hits. Uh, That's going to be really cool to look forward to yeah, as well. I'm, it's very interesting how those people will perform in a ballroom setting because they yes. used to... I would say not a smaller stage, but I would say more intimate setting because on a Broadway, you know, uh, like all the show. I mean, yeah. they perform at the stadium, so Millennium, uh, very similar to that. So it should be, it should be very interesting. Yeah, it's gonna be rocking. And then who else do we got? We've got um, um, Linda see. Etter. Linda Etter. Yes, uh, and she's famous actually. I look up last uh, last night. Besides everything, what I know, she is very good in switching styles while she's yes. singing. She have yes. She's combining them. Uh, that's for me will be interesting. That's going to be beautiful to have her. You know, uh, and uh, we have both days. We have Saturday and we have show Saturday and Friday. The first day on Friday, we're having a show which is going to bring you down the Mississippi River together with Ooh. dancers. Yes, it's going to be together with dancers. I'm sorry, uh, hard hard drive production. Okay. We had we, we had a clip uh, we had a clip of them before. Let me try to find it. Uh, hard drive production. That's very 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 cool because those guys are working always always yes. very 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 hard. Uh, love them, love them. So and the next day on Saturday, we're gonna be future of ballroom dancing. How's it gonna look like? The future. I have no idea. I mean, Tesla's no idea. always growing. Are so gonna, let's see what's gonna, gonna, what's gonna happen. What do you think's Tesla's? gonna happen? Tesla's. Could you imagine? A Tesla's. Right. <laughs> no, that it's a it's a vacuum cleaner on the wheels. So it's gonna be that's it, you know. But no, however, ball, uh, future ballroom dancing sounds very in, in, intriguing to me, and especially what our professional couples will 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 do with that. And the first time in history, you're gonna have two Blackpool champions on that dance floor. I wonder floor. who it's gonna be. Uh, what? Secret, it's, uh, right? No, no, no. no? Uh, Arunas, uh, uh, Arunas Bijokas and uh, Katusha Dimideva and Victor Fangen and oh, Anastasia. Yeah, they... Uh, awesome. Last year, Victor was a Blackpool champion. This year, Arunas uh, back. So, they switching for right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's going to be awesome to have them both. And, uh, you know, yes, I do love Latin, but when those two are performing, it takes my breath away. And... I'm looking forward to ask Victor Fan how he does that when he runs in, in quick step and then he steps and then he just let go his frame and she's there. I tried it, Babette fell. Oh. So, <laughs> so we, we, we tried that. So it didn't, uh, didn't work out. And Michael said uh, it's going to be so far uh, the biggest dance floor in the United States. Uh, I don't know if it tells you something, but it's going to be one, uh, 124 feet by 44 feet. Wow, so it's pretty, that's a uh, large dance floor. It's pretty, huh? That's a large dance floor. Yes, 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 yes. So we're going there. Uh, another part is in those shows is that I lost it. I lost it. Uh, sorry. Millennium will award a will award. Hold on. Lifetime achievement on Saturday and five hero awards giving out during the week to a noble, courageous, and inspiring individual. Who are those individuals? Michael uh, said he want to keep it. As a, as a secret. Yeah, that's great. So uh, I ask him a lot. Another, by the way, another great show is coming up by Jake Mazar and his pro partner uh, Yulia Besarab. So Jake oh, is a, Jake awesome. is, Jake is a great supporter of bo of uh, ballroom dancing, and he loves and and he besides going into the gym and <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, he loves dancing and he loves obviously he loves lifting. So. They this year they will do a Batman performance. Check check oh, check this out. Oh my mean, goodness! Uh, that's my favorite part. 
of the uh, from uh, from the Batman. So <laughs> <laughs> no, that's another that's another shot. Oh, there so you go. they were gonna do a special performance as well. He, uh, they both do some crazy stuff, and I talked to Yulia at the oh, Emerald look at Ball, this. at the Emerald Ball Dance Sport Championships. I'm like, aren't you scared? And she's like, at the beginning I was, and now I'm really not. I think her partner. Surge is scared much more. Oh, how awesome is this gonna be? Then, okay, this is still this is still raw. This is still a rehearsal. Right, so but we got a sneak peek. We got a sneak peek. Yeah, thank you for sending us, guys. So wow. he uh, he is insane. He's really big. Like on on the video, he even doesn't do his justice. He is insanely big, and uh, and if you haven't you know, seen him. Yeah, it's, it's something to look it's, forward it's to. Pretty, definitely. It, it's it's pretty cool. I know I know they're gonna will perform. Okay, check this out. Wow. Can you do this with me? No? We can try. We can, yeah, okay. we can we always should, try. We should try that after because I'm like, uh, I, 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 I'm lifting, but I've never been lifted before. I'm looking forward to that. So that, I, I will ask Jake. I was looking forward to have an interview with them, and I will ask him to, li I will ask him to lift me. Jake, you gotta lift me because I, I want to try this. It's, I know it's scary, but uh, I'm sure, I'm sure. You, look at this biceps. It's crazy. I mean, this is like, this versus the. I mean, like this is like flat, you know. And the, oh my God. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, so Millennium promising to be very, very, very exciting. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Well, are you guys coming on Tuesday? We are. We are. We're coming Monday night, setting up, starting we to shoot. We will be there to set up as well. So it's going to be, it's going to, yes. we're really looking Did forward to it. Did I forget anything? It. I think. Especially New Orleans. Uh, especially New Orleans, yes. Looking forward to the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show up in my uh, superhero outfit. Superhero outfits. outfit, yes. I think that's we gave we we gave you we gave away a lot. So what's going to happen? I will keep in touch with Tatiana Silvester and Lenny Burlow, the new engagement hottest couple in Gal in Hollywood, and hey, hey, we hey. will try to bring them here to the studio to talk about what's going to happen next for them. It's going to be Monday, Tuesday. So stay tuned on our page. Uh, I know you're looking forward, guys, to Millennium. I asked Michael, by the way, Michael, what else is going to happen, and what do what do you think he said? No, he said. Besides, I have to. Com I have competition to run. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I, I forgot. Uh, it's going to be the biggest millennium yet. Last year was 20 years. To build. Uh, yes, last year was 20 years anniversary. So this year it's 21. So millennium is old enough to buy to buy itself a drink. By the way, so Michael drinks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, drinks. And it's. Uh, he said that they're still accepting entries, but 10 days. Before the competition, they will stop Be because it's really, it's really getting huge. Of so uh, he didn't give away the number of entries because it's still building, and 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 he said usually thousands of entries coming the last the, the last moment. So how awesome! Yeah, there we go. What what your hairstyle go, hairstyle gonna be going to be for Millennium? You growing it? You know what? We'll see how. Well, let's see what happens. I'll keep it a secret. It's growing right now. Everybody's keeping everything a secret. It's, it's just like there's nothing. The element of surprise. What about gossiping? I mean, there's like <laughs> a little bit, a little bit of gossiping. Uh, no secret. For what about me. you? I will keep the same style. I'll, I'll try to make it shorter. A little, a, a, a little bit of beard. A little bit. A little little, little, I like it. I think yeah, it looks scruff. I think it looks it's good for the graveyards and swamplands. Uh, would be cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, my wife is saying no. <laughs> Guys, make a comment. What do, what do you love to see the uh, the shaved or, or not shaved? I mean, uh, hey. yeah. Should we do a? Sounds really wrong right now. In in my hand, uh, because you will do the hairs and and make yes. it. Should we do a hair reveals? Sounds really wrong. Hey, no, hey, no, hair no. reveals. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Anyway, what people guys. can come up with with hair. It's pretty amazing. There's some talented people out there. So we'll no, but see. I love, I love what you do. I love Thank what you do. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Maybe you can do my. Ekibana. You can do so much with yours. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Braids. No, could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this wonderful Los Angeles morning tonight. In Los, uh, today in Los oh Angeles yeah. is going to be really hot. Uh, buy ticket coming in. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. So thank you for watching. Uh, looking forward to see you at Millennium Dance Sport Championships. Yeah, it's time to celebrate superheroes. Let's yes. do it. Let's do this. Yes. Thank you for joining. Me. <laughs> Enjoy your Nathan day, everyone. Nathan Grundy from Alanate, elite hair and makeup guys. They're working very hard at the competitions. I know that you're waking up very very early. Hey, ah. Somebody's got to work. Guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> we'll see you. Have at, a great day. We'll see you Bye -bye. at Millennium. Awesome. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, of course. It was great. What a great day. It's a great start to the day, you know? Yeah.